My name's Tom. Hi, I'm Carly. Hi, Carly. How are you? Good. You know, uh, in magic, there's all kinds of what they call uh, genres of magic. Uh, comedy magic, uh, close-up magic. Um, mentalism is one of them. And it's probably the hardest of all because in a very short while, you meet somebody and then you have to gain their confidence and then you have to be okay with them getting inside of your head and walking around a little bit. So we're gonna do that if that's okay with you. Okay. All right, so if there's anything that you don't want me to see, start closing doors. And, uh, <laughs> but this is kind of fun. So I have a wallet. Uh, are you artistic a little uh, bit? Kind of, yeah. Can you, are you okay with just drawing simple pictures? Yeah. So here's what we're going to do. I'm gonna take out a business card. Oh, too many. And I'm gonna fold it up. And what I'm going to ask you to do here, I'm going to fold it really good. Now, you're going to draw on the white side. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a pen that you chose. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, there are people that are out there that think the pens can uh, send messages to a pair of eyeglasses or an earpiece. And I, I don't know what you're drawing, but that's your pen, regular business card. So when you draw this, I'm actually going to turn the other way so I can't see it. I want you to try to, to fill up the white space as much as you can. It's gonna be a simple drawing because you're really not trying to fool me. I'm gonna to try to go in and, and visualize what you're seeing and then reproduce that, that picture, okay? So you know what an, an emoji is, right? Mm -hmm. they're, they're kind of simple, but uh, it's still has, you can tell what it is. So this should be simple enough that a five or six year old should be able to look at it and figure out what that image is. Um, no shading, uh, no three dimensions. It should take you about, one to three seconds to draw and you can think about it for a minute but when you say you're ready i'm going to turn around you're going to draw that image and then you're going to close up the paper and pinch it okay. so that i can't see what's in there is that pretty simple instructions yeah. okay i'm gonna turn around you just let me know whenever you're done with your drawing that's more than three seconds okay <laughs> So now, sometimes people try to hide things in their wallet and you'll put them in this little flap where it's impossible to put them in, impossible to get them out. There's no way I can see that. Have you put your hand over top of it. So um, as an artist, do you ever use an easel? Do you know what an easel is? Yeah. So let's imagine there's an easel here about this big. It's not paper and it's not canvas. Let's imagine that it's something that's translucent, like uh, frosted glass or maybe wax paper. That way you can draw on it and then I could see what you're drawing from the other side. Does that make sense? Now don't use your eyes, don't use your hands, don't move your head. Whenever we begin, and you don't have to look in my eyes, that's, that's kind of weird, isn't it? So you're gonna look at the easel as if you were drawing that object. So whenever you're ready, look at the easel. I'm looking at it kind of like, uh, not seeing each other, but start drawing your picture. Now, your pen was black and white. If this item has color, begin to add color to that picture. Mm -hmm. If that picture were to have texture, add the texture to that. If it were to have a temperature of some sort, or cool, whatever. If it had a temperature, add that temperature to it. If it's, if it's something that you would eat, imagine the taste. Is it salty, sweet, sour, whatever, bitter, whatever that is. Add that to the picture. Now some pictures are more emotional. So if it's a, an emotional based drawing, try to convey that feeling into that picture. And just let me know when you think you're pretty well done with that. Yeah. Okay, can I have the wallet back? I'm going to take um, a card out for me. I'm going to try to draw your picture. So color, color. This could be a lot of color. I, I see it uh, pretty bright. I, I see whites and I see reds. So maybe a little bit of red in there. Mm -hmm. I see hard lines. Um, and, and I see some curves. 
and I see some soft stuff. Um, so, and sometimes these are flipped over because like when you look at a, 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 a lens, it flips the images, so it might be backwards. I'm not sure if this is a cloud or, but it's something soft like this here. And then when you, I said taste, I got a feeling from you that was kind of a sweet taste. Uh, I, I, I'm kind of hoping I'm right. I think it was like right about here. And I'm not, this might be upside down. No, well, that, that looks like that's right. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop there because those are the, the temperature was cold and I, I got the feeling of it and the flavor of it and some colors. So this, what we're gonna do now is, this is impossible to get to. Grab that, pull it out, and let's see how close those two are to each other. Can you get that? Would you say that's a match? Yeah, it's about a match. Would you say that's like an ice cream sundae maybe or a? Yeah, or a cupcake. <laughs> or a cupcake, yeah. yeah. So that's a cherry on a yep. cupcake? I couldn't get that part. <laughs> cool, okay. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Will you mind? Yeah. Good. Thank you.